Hello everyone and welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 where I'll be giving you four tips for tomorrow's racing. Now before we get stuck into them quickly just uh, want to reflect on how our tips performed today. Again it was another blank day here on my YouTube channel. We've been going through a little bit of a frustrating spell of late. The last few videos haven't been good but unfortunately that's the way it goes in the tipping game. Sometimes you go through uh, patches where you can't tip a winner and then all of a sudden um, a, lo a load of winners come along like London buses and we've been through spells on them before on my YouTube channel over the years. I remember back in January we uh, couldn't find a winner for the start of the month and after a couple of weeks it was getting really frustrating and really bad but then one day uh, we just seemed to put up together a few winners I remember we had a 12 to 1 winner a 20 to 1 winner in one week in January and then our fortunes changed and again it was the same sim similar kind of story in March you know like it hadn't been a good month for us but then the last week our fortunes really did turn around and then we ended up I don't know how still but we came out with this the smallest of profits obviously we want to do better than that but what I'm trying to say is that you don't know uh, how, how the game's going to go and some Sometimes when you're really confident about selections, they, they, they run absolute stinkers. It's just the way it goes in this game and it's all about the long term. But hopefully uh, we will get rid of that bad spell and start finding some winners for you guys because I get frustrated as well. I want to give you guys wins. And hopefully, like I said, we can uh, get back amongst uh, the winners tomorrow. So we're going to be uh, having four tips for tomorrow's racing. And we're going to be going to work for the first of them um, in the 130. And this horse is going to be my next best. Now, it's a horse called Unai for Luca Morgan, claiming five. And he's riding for his boss, Ben Paul, in tomorrow in the colours of Simon Munir and Isaac Swade. Now this horse has been running okay of late. Um, he's not the best horse in the world, but he's been running in some uh, novice handicap chases and he's been running okay. You know, he's made the frame on his last few starts. In fact, he's actually finished third on his last three starts, but he's shown uh, in all of those races that he definitely has the ability to win a race. And I think he's got a good opportunity to finally get his head in front. Um, it works the track that he's done okay at in the past. In fact, you could argue that his best chase run has come at Warwick when he finished third on his chase debut here. So uh, I think if he replicates that run tomorrow, he's got a chance in this race. The handicapper as well has dropped him a pound down to a mark of 101. And I think he's got a good chance. This looks uh, a fairly weak race to me on paper. There was plenty of, uh, of horses in this race that I could just discount. And I thought, you know, I had really solid claims. He's currently available at 5-2 to two of bookmakers at the moment. I think that's a fair price there. I don't think he'll get much shorter, but I could see him stay in that kind of price uh, up until post time. And maybe he might shorten a couple of minutes before the off. But I think he's got uh, a great chance in this race tomorrow to finally break his duck. He's still quite likely to race. He's only a six-year-old and I think there'll be a bit more to come from him. And Luca Morgan as well has been going great guns this season. Is definitely worth his £5 claim. So this horse tomorrow, you know, he's going to be my uh, next best in the 130 at work. And fingers crossed we can get off to a flyer. We then go to Perth uh, for an extra tip which runs in the 220 and I'm going to put up here Cracking Destiny for um, Callum Bewley and Alistair Willens. Now this horse at the time recording is currently three to one and I'm going to recommend a one point win bet here. Now this horse um, had a recent uh, run at uh, Kelso last time we saw him but I think that was just to put him spot on for a summer chase campaign. All his best form has come over fences and I think you can just put a line through that run that's just to try and get him fit because he'd been coming off after a bit of a layoff and if you look at the way he was campaigned last year he definitely was campaigned as a summer jump source. Now if you go back through some of his form last year he actually ran a couple of times at this track at Perth and he did quite well including winning um, over two and a half miles and on his other start he finished second so he clearly likes the track and the key to him will be this better ground. Now he's got a rating of 134 which I think isn't bad at all. It's two pounds higher than when he won here at the course so I, I don't think that's a, a bad mark for him. I think he's got a good chance in this race tomorrow. Also as well one of his uh, best efforts last year is when he finished fourth at Kelso. Now finishing fourth might not sound that good but in that race it yielded Nuts Well who uh, 
We could see maybe take a scout this weekend at Sandown, but he's been running really well for Anne Hamilton this season. And also as well, in second place that day, he had I right, and he wasn't uh, a too far beat at all in that race. And he definitely has shown uh, a lot of ability. And I think this race tomorrow could set up quite nicely for him. Now, he is a horse who likes to be handy. He has made the run in, in the past, but I'm hoping he'll just take a lead tomorrow from Fanzio for Richard Hobson, who's a horse that has to make the run in. He always likes to be handy. And if cracking Destiny can just track him I think he might be able to pounce on coming up the home straight and get the job done so yeah I think Kraken Destiny has a lot in his favour tomorrow and I think a 3 to 1 there that's a fair price and as an extra tip I'm going to recommend a 1 point win bet with him we then um, go to Beverly for my long shot of the day now this horse isn't the biggest price long shot I'm ever going to put up but I'm going to win it to uh, back it to win on the nose and it runs in the 425 at Beverly and it's a horse called Tangled for uh, Gemma Tata, Jimmy Tati, uh, Gemma Tati, sorry if I can say her name right, claiming three, she's riding for her mum, Karen Tati. Now this horse has got a good record at the track, he won here uh, twice last season, and I think returning back to Beverly might just suit him. Now at the weights, he's not too badly treated, he's two pound lower than his last win, he's now down to a mark of 75, he won here last season, off a mark of 77. Now like I've always said here on my YouTube channel at Beverly, I like horses that are handy, or like to go from the front but there's a lack of pace in this race or there's only one or two that would probably like to get on with it and one of them is Saw Beach who's got a really wide draw and that normally would be a negative and I think in our case I'm hoping it will be a positive because I could see Saw Beach tomorrow going um, quite hard early on you know and he doesn't have too many uh, gear changes for me where he can really quicken it I think he'll go uh, to the front tomorrow Hopefully he'll set a good uh, gallop. And I think he could just set it up for the closers. And quite, uh, being a closer at Beverly isn't always a bad thing. Saw it quite a few times last season. But as long as Tangle doesn't get too far back, I think this horse has got a really good chance. He likes the quick ground. I think he'll come on as well from his last run at Newcastle. I think there's a lot to like about his chances. And he's got a good draw tomorrow in still too, which is actually uh, where he was positioned when he won one of these races last year. So lots of things to like about his chances tomorrow for eight to one that price was currently available bet 365 was more than fair i could see there being a little bit of money for him tomorrow as well so i'm going to recommend a one point win bet there that's uh, going to be tangled in the 425 at beverly as my long shot we then head to the all weather action at chelmsford for the evening card there we go to the 615 and my nap here is going to be shimmering dawn for James Doyle and James Tate. Now this horse at the time recording is two to one and I'm gonna recommend a one point win bet with this uh, mare. Now this mare absolutely loves it round Chelmsford. She's got a fantastic strike rate, four wins from six starts. And she's now running back in a handicap. She's been running in some of the conditions races uh, on the All Weather uh, Championships this season. But coming back into her handicap, I think it's totally fair. Um, she's now down to her last winning mark, actually, uh, which is 94. So that would definitely suit her. And I think she's more effective over the six than the seven furlongs, in my opinion. There's a couple of horses in here that want to get on with things. I think Breath of Joy from Amy Murphy will try and make it. And I think it could set up quite nicely for Shimmer and Dawn, who I expect to come there with a late run. And with her excellent course record, I think she'll take all the beating in, in this race. And I think arguably she could be a bit shorter come post time. So not particularly original selection there, but I think she'll get the job done. And fingers crossed she'll give us a much needed winner. So yeah, that's the four tips for tomorrow's racing. If you're still enjoying these videos, despite the lack of winners, please remember to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe here if you haven't done so already. Also as well, if you want to follow me on Twitter, that's the only place you can do so on social media. My handle is at LuckyLoader15. And if you want to find out a little bit more about myself, my website address is www.chrisloaderacing.co.uk. So please gamble responsibly. Hopefully we can have some winners tomorrow. And we'll be seeing you soon. <laughs>